beautiful Saturday morning where I'm at. I'm here in Toronto. I don't know if you can see my little friend the CN Tower in the back there. <laughs> so yeah, today I wanted to do a little spring get ready with me because the weather is starting to be really nice and although we can't really do much, you know, you guys already know that I love to dress up for no reason. So here we are. Yeah, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial and then show you guys what I would wear. So let's get started. So first I just wanted to show you guys the jewelry I would wear because jewelry is so important. You guys already know how much I love posting my jewelry on my Instagram. I'm going to be wearing these earrings from Ana Luisa. Oh my God, I love these so much. And like the whole like croissant rope thing, it's just so stunning. I am so obsessed. They're a little bit heavy though because the materials are so like good. Like they don't feel like normal earrings. Like. You know like when you buy earrings and they turn your ears green like these ones have not done that to me at all and they almost feel heavy like they feel like they're actually made of like solid gold even though they're just plated so i have me some earrings and yeah my hair is curled from the night before because what else is there to do around here and then curl your hair yeah and then i have my two rings also from anna luisa i have this um rope bold ring that I absolutely love. I usually wear this on my index finger. So here you can see it. Oh, oh my god, I love it so much. And again, like amazing quality, like I am obsessed. And then this rope, this rope mini ring is also perfect. It's also adjustable, which is great. So I usually put this on my middle finger. And there you go. This is my little jewelry look, all from Ana Luisa. I absolutely love all of their jewelry because not only is it sustainable, but it's crafted with really high quality materials. They also offset all of their carbon outputs, so that is amazing. Obviously, I would support their mission because I'm trying to be as sustainable as possible, trying to choose sustainable brands, and I am absolutely obsessed with their pieces. Honestly, I can't wait to get more. So if you guys want to get 10% off, use my code ANASTAYU10. I'm going to link it as well as my little link in the bio if you guys wanted to shop for some really stunning and super affordable fine jewelry that lasts like forever. Like I washed my hands so many times with these. I'm pretty sure I even worn these in the shower and nothing has happened. They're still as stunning as ever and... You know, everyone wants to be a little bit Parisian, so get your hands on some of these croissants. Okay, so now on to makeup. I'm going to start with my Belief moisturizer, uh, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I love this stuff. It's my favorite cream in the whole world. Oh God, I should have put my hair up. <laughs> and of course my coffee. I think waking up in the morning and making my coffee is like my favorite part of the day. Like even on weekdays, like the night before I go to sleep, and I'm laying in bed. I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to have my coffee in the morning because holy crap I make some good coffee. Okay, moving on to eye cream um, I got this sample from fresh It's called the black tea age delay eye concentrate. It comes in this like little mini This little mini little mini guy here and I'll just take a little bit because I have like the worst dark circles. Apparently it's supposed to help with that. Just put that a little bit on my eyes. Anywhere, I kind of put it where I have like creases. Is that weird? Like I even put it like over here. You guys already know my favorite Too Faced lip injection goes on first. So it can like sink in while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna go in with my little NARS concealer in vanilla, soft matte complete concealer. It's like a cream. I honestly really love it. It looks really natural. I don't wear foundation, so I kind of just spread this on everywhere with my little beauty blender. I usually just like twist it in this pot and like kind of just put it where I have the most dark circles. Even though I've been sleeping so well lately, I don't know what's going on. Probably just have really dark circles naturally, which kind of sucks. I want to switch to more like creamy consistencies. I'm using this liquid blush from Jesley Cosmetics in number five, Kiss Me. I love this stuff. Just do like one, two, three, and one, two, three. The trick with blush is like the higher you put it, the more lifted your face looks. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. A little bit on my nose. 
Now I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Ambient Lighting Bronzer. I like to pull this guy out in the summer because it's a little bit shimmery. So moving into the warmer seasons, I think this catches in light quite nicely. So I just put this on my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead and on the tip of my nose. Honestly, putting bronzer on the tip of your nose is what makes you look like a real life filter. Because if you look at all the filters, it always puts shadow on the tip of your nose. So this literally does that. And it's a lot easier than contouring your nose. <laughs> then I'm going in with my signature Becca Moonstone highlighter. Put this on the high points of my cheeks and a little bit on my nose. And now moving on to eyebrows. I like to use this Milk Kush Triple Brow Pen in, in Herb. Herb? Herb. So I'm actually running out of this thing and I was so sad. And yesterday I went online on Sephora because they're having the Rouge 20% on sale or whatever. And I tried to look for it and I think they discontinued it. And I was so upset because I love this stuff. So I'm getting the Benefit one in the mail, but honestly nothing compares to this Milk one. And it's so easy to use like I literally just I literally just draw on my eyebrows and it looks so natural and pretty and it doesn't look drawn on because come on guys if you followed me for a while you know that I literally used to draw on my eyebrows and it looked hideous there we go now moving on to eyes I've already put concealer all over my eyes so that kind of acts as a primer and I'm going to be using this Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes because, I don't know, I'm just really obsessed with the whole peach look. I love spring pastels, so I'm going to be using this beauty here. I'm going to take this double-ended brush because this is literally the only thing I use. And first, I'm going to go in with Peach Tea. It's like this color here. Take a little bit on my brush. And just like pop that in the crease. And because of the peachy blush that we used, it just blends so nicely. I also love dragging it in to this inner corner because for some reason it makes my nose look smaller, which is nice. Then I'm gonna take this random huge fluffy brush that I own and I'm just going to blend this like super messy, like honestly even like going in circles because it actually gives a really nice blended look. So it's a win-win situation easy and effective then i'm gonna go in once again with the same peach tea and just kind of like deepen up the crease a little bit more just because we blended a lot of it away and guys this stuff actually smells amazing like it smells like the peach green tea drink from starbucks that's exactly what it smells like and then i'm gonna go in with peach butter take a little bit on my flat brush and just put this all over the lid for like a really natural effect. I'm not trying to go super crazy with the makeup. So it just gives a really seamless blended look. Then because this is like a matte palette, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter and I'm just gonna take a little bit from my inner corner just to tie the whole look together. A little bit under my brow, tip of the nose. Then for just a finishing touch, cause I could feel like I could go a little bit deeper with the color. I'm gonna grab Fresh Picked, which is this color here. It's not too much darker than Peach Tea. Just like a teeny bit on the brush and I'm just gonna put it in the outer corner and underneath here. So we're done with eyeshadow. So I usually love doing a little bit of a wing on the outer corner because I feel like my eyes are small and I don't know. Just feel like they could use a little vavoom before I put mascara on. So I love using this Kat Von D um, Trooper Black Tattoo Liner. It says Shake Well, but I never really do that. And it's waterproof, so that's good because sometimes like with the sun in springtime and in summer, like eyes can water a little bit, especially when you have like lighter eyes. Um, my eyes are hazel, but they still are pretty sensitive. So I love using this just to do like a teeny little wing. Zooms in a little. So as you can see, it's like literally the tiniest wing ever and I don't even go all the way. I literally just go halfway. Same for the other side. 
So I'm just going to do my mascara off camera because you guys already know how to put on mascara. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, yeah. So I've done all of my mascara. I put some on the upper and on the lower. So now just for some finishing touches to the makeup before we finish, I'm going to take this Benefit Brow Stuff. Honestly, the label is like ripped off. So I'm just gonna use this to set my brows a little bit And then for lippies, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk Lip cheat liner and I'm just gonna outline My lips a little bit, you know, just to give some color over that lip injection because it's clear. I love how like natural and peachy it looks. The final touch will be taking its matching lipstick in a pillow talk and just kind of dabbing that over. And there we go. This is the finished makeup. I'm just gonna take out my hair. Actually held pretty Nicely overnight. <laughs> Bless. Less work for me. So now for the outfit. Decided to put something, a little something cute together for you guys. Wanted to wear this nice like silky satin top with these, I don't know why, everything's backwards. With these pants, they have like a tie on them and they're like super high-waisted from Dynamite. So I went to wear that. And then along with this bag from Pacabu. And these babies. Hello. Hello, spring. Hello. <laughs> So here is the finished look guys. I'm absolutely obsessed. I feel like the spring pastels and the heels and the jeans, it's just so nice for spring. And of course, my spring makeup and my jewels. Oh look, my nails match my bag, how lovely. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this spring get ready with me. Um, and my Ana Luisa amazing jewels. Again, link is in the description if you guys want to shop. And for everyone staying in this weekend or going out or going to the park or whatever, I hope you have a beautiful weekend and sending you all of my love. <laughs>